Teresa Firkenhoff, a Braniff Airlines flight attendant, became the bride of Joseph Patrick Teasdale in October 1973 when he was prosecuting attorney in Jackson County. Three years later, she was moving from their apartment in Kansas City to the governor's mansion with their two-year-old son, Billy. The inaugural ceremonies in January 1977 were bitterly cold. There was nine inches of snow on the ground, and the wind chill factor was nearly 40 below zero. Following the inaugural ceremonies, Teresa Teasdale, along with her husband, hosted their first reception at the governor's mansion. That evening, they led the grand march at the inaugural ball. Teresa's main priority was her family. In addition to moving into the mansion with two-year-old Billy, John Patrick was adopted in 1978, and Teresa gave birth to their third child, Kevin, in 1979. Even though she was busy as a wife and mother, she continued regular public tours of the mansion. Her devotion to children extended beyond her own family. During the Christmas holidays, the Teasdales entertained orphans at the Christmas marionette show at the mansion and greeted visitors during the traditional Christmas candlelight tours. While she was First Lady, Teresa welcomed President Jimmy Carter to the state during his visit to Columbia. A devout Catholic, Teresa met Pope John Paul II during his visit to the United States in 1979. Teresa had a great fondness for animals. The family's two Shelties, Heidi and Duffy, were truly members of the family. Before coming to Jefferson City, Teresa trained pets for show and won several trophies with Heidi. Teresa was also an avid equestrian. Her horse, Holly, was stabled near Jefferson City and she enjoyed taking time for an occasional ride. In 1996, during the Carnahan administration, the Teasdale family returned to the mansion for the presentation of Teresa's official portrait. Currently living in Kansas City, Teresa and her husband Joe recently became grandparents with the birth of a son, also named Joe, to Colleen and Bill Teasdale. Teresa is busy now with preparations for an early August wedding of their youngest son, Kevin.